YouTube, what's up, what's happening? Here I got another video for you guys. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Badger Renegade R1V Velocity. Um, it's just a detail airbrush and we're going to go ahead and open it up, see what comes in here. And yeah, we're going to test it out and see what I think. So we got the box, which is nice, um, but also kind of, it's nice, but it feels like generic. It feels like it's made for something else, and then they just kind of made an insert for it, um, which is fine. It works. It's a nice box. It's hard plastic, which is good. Then we have the airbrush itself, um, and it comes with a needle stop for the end here. I don't know why it didn't just come on the airbrush, but... Um, it has a needle stop at the end, which is nice. And don't let this uh, texture fool you. It's actually quite smooth. It is a dark, like a dark, uh, kind of like natural metal look. But it does, uh, it is very, very actually like smooth. Like it's smooth like the chrome. So it, it's, you know, it does come with a plastic cap, which... I don't know how I feel about having a plastic cap, you know, but I mean, it, it's a cap nonetheless. The inside of here looks like, or it looks like maybe whatever they used to make this finish here left some marks there. I don't know if you guys can see that there. It's like, uh, there's like some weird markings inside of there, but even that feels really smooth in there, uh, even with the markings. So. It's just a strange kind of like a finish, but it does say Badger USA on one side. It says Velocity on the other, and yeah, it looks pretty good. It doesn't come with a hose. Um, it has a fan tip. Whoa, where's the needle, man? Hey, man, I need a needle, man. Did I get a used one or something? Why is the needle not... I guess you have to pre-adjust the needle. It's really rough. Like that needle does not move nicely in there. But anyway, we got the needle in place now. You could like hear it. Um, that should be okay. As long as we maybe maybe we'll lube it up, lube it up a little bit. I thought this I thought this had screwed in. Look, it is screwed in. Why did it come off? I don't know. Okay. Well, anyway, it has a fan tip as well. Which I guess you can adjust. Can you take this off and still use it? That's the question. No. No, you cannot. So, that's interesting design. Let's go deeper. What is this piece? Well, this is just an air diffuser. And, but here you have access to the nozzle, which again, it's one of those fine machine pieces, uh, which would make me feel like this is going to perform really well. My fingers are getting wet from something. I don't know what's in this. It looks like something's in there. There's liquid in there. I don't know if that's supposed to come like that. Um... Yeah, my, my, um, there's definitely something all over my fingers now. I, I was not expecting that. Um, 
Okay, kind of a bummer that we can't use it without this uh, front piece. But again, if it performs really well, that shouldn't be a problem. I'm not sure if that's supposed to sit straight or up and down. On all the pictures I've seen, <clears throat> they were they were of us going up and down, but I guess we'll try it on sideways. Very interesting design of an airbrush. Um, we'll have to try it out and see how it performs. It did it does have something in there, so I'll have to hook it up and and see what's up in here. But yeah, let me, oh, it also comes with uh, before I forget, it comes with a cap for the front, which is I guess nice. It does provide protection once it's on there, you know, for the needle, so you don't, you, know, you can't really bend it. <clears throat> Maintenance, uh, replace the paint seal o-ring. It comes with a Teflon solvent resistant paint needle assembly. It comes with a parts list, which is nice. Um, yeah, so again, We'll take it for a spin. Um, hopefully, whatever's in there's just some lube or something. But it's it's in the airways, so we'll have to see what what's up with that. Anyway, let, let's try it out and see what happens. Alright guys, so after trying out this airbrush and uh, going through it, um, yeah, th this is like super precise, super fine. It atomizes paint like uh, really the, be the best of any airbrush that I've ever, ever tried. Um, uh, that includes my HPC. Uh, this thing atomizes paint really well. This whole mechanism in the front, it, you can tell it's all designed in a certain way to just diffuse the paint diffuse the paint in such a way and it's so precise and so fine uh that yeah like th this is just amazing now at first i wasn't too sure about these two guards here uh, but after using it these guards are like amazing i love these guards right here in the front uh if it'll focus there you see those two little points coming out Th those are those are very nice very nice uh the little box it comes in it's pretty cool i'm already using it to start store airbrushes that are not currently in use so that's the plus um but here's the review right so it obviously performs really well but we got to compare it right to its main competitors that i have on hand right so this is the Iwata Revolution HPCR. This also works really good. Here's the Pache Talon. Um, this performs just as well um, as these two. This one is kind of on its own level. Uh, it atomizes paint better than these two. You get finer lines with this than you can with these. You get smoother shades that you can with these. So all in all, this this is just a finer, more detailed airbrush. It just works. It just atomizes paint and gets you finer lines better. Features, right? So besides the fine atomization, this one also atomizes paint pretty good. This one atomizes paint probably the least best out of all three. But it also, I, you know... Unless you're going to look at something really, really up close, uh, you probably wouldn't really notice that. 
<clears throat> other than that, these two have needle stops in the back. So you see these, if you like, uh, you know, setting a, diff a certain point on your needles and using the needle stops, this one has that. This one has a clean out that you don't have to unscrew the whole back. So if you need, if you have a clog and you just want to pull the whole needle back to push out the clog, uh, this one allows you to do that. Um, that's a common, you know, thing with most airbrushes. If, if you get a, a speck of paint that's just a little too thick, that's clogging up the nozzle, you know, usually we'll just flush it out um, and that, that helps clean that out. These other two do not have that. So you'd have to unscrew this whole back uh, to do all that. Other than that, they're about the same. All right, so other than that, this one, these all come with caps. This one comes with this plastic rubber cap, right? So I was undecided on this cap at first, uh, but after using it, I mean, it does its function pretty well. It, it works as a cap and because it's plastic, it makes it really easy to clean it and take on and, and put on, like take, take it off and put on. It's just easier with that one. Um, but yeah, other than that, they all have the same features. Now let's talk price. So this is the cheapest one. And these two are about the same at the time of doing this video, right? This one comes with its hose. This one comes with instructions. This one, you know, it comes with a nice box and everything. So out of everything, out of all of them, this one actually has the most features, right? It has the needle stop, it has the flush out, it has a nice, you know, cap thing. It has, you know, this removable fan on the front. You could order different needle sizes for it. And yeah, like it, it's made of quality, it's thick, it's beefy, it's good. It's the cheapest one. That being said, it also, um, it, does, it performs the worst out of all these. Not, like, it's, don't take that as like, this airbrush is bad because it's not. This airbrush is really good. It actually, it performs great. But out of the three, this one atomizes the paint. Uh, just not as fine. Um, and you can see specks if you, if you zoom in close enough on whatever you're painting, you can see some specks uh, with this airbrush. With this airbrush, this is like the second best atomization, but again, these two are about the same price. <sighs> then comes, you know, you got to order a hose for these two. You know, these don't come with a hose. You got to order a separate hose. Um, this one has a needle stop. So for the same price, you get a needle stop. If that's something you really care about. The finish on these, I'm, I'm not a... You know, I wouldn't say chrome is the end-all be-all, but I do like that this one's nice and chrome. Even though the finish on this is like really smooth and really soft and it's almost like a chrome, kind of. It's like this weird like gunmetal color. Um, but it is really soft and smooth and it is easy to clean. It just, it makes it look just a slightly less quality, but that doesn't mean it is less quality. It just, it just looks dull compared to the chrome one. See that? Um, but yeah, other than that, this is a great airbrush. If you're beginning, you're looking for a valuable set, like a, a good set that's going to come with everything you need, um, order the Pache Talon. That's a good airbrush for a beginner that needs, like maybe you're getting into miniatures, maybe you're getting into model cars, RC cars, you know, portraits, that kind of stuff. You know, just, you need a good all around airbrush. This is probably it. Okay, it, it sprays everything really good. This is the same thing, right? If you have a, maybe a little bit more money to blow and you want something that's gonna spray paint just a little bit finer and that you could grow on, um, this right here, as long as you take care of it and you're careful with that nozzle and stuff, this is a pretty good airbrush. Now, if you're gonna get into the spring or you've already like got one of these and you've already kind of feel like you've gone as far as you can with that and you want more detail you want to be able to get in closer and stuff like that <clears throat> this airbrush right here uh with like over reduced paints and stuff you there's you could do like super minuscule stuff it atomizes paint at, um to just a, a really good precise and I, I mean i really don't know what more i could ask of an airbrush other than the, than this 
it does atomize paint just as fine as I would need it. I'm not painting, you know, blade size uh, paintings, you know, I'm doing pretty big stuff. So, you know, this airbrush allows me to add all the detail I will ever need, you know, down to freckles and, you know, skin, you know, texture and stuff and maybe, you know, mustache, everything that I ever need to paint this right here. Uh, does it and more you know this one right here also does it it's just you got to work a little harder at it, it has a, a thicker needle this has a, a 0.2 millimeter needle this has a 0.5 this has a point uh what's basically a 0.4 um so yeah but this one sprays really fine don't expect to run paint out of the bottle like straight out of the bottle in this this is obviously designed to run paint that's reduced that's fine Thicker paints is not going to really run through there. Like I said, it's a 0.2 millimeter needle. When you get that fine, you need stuff that's going to be able to saturate that tiny little hole. So thick paint really won't run through that. This thing sprays just about anything. You know, you spray paint right out of the bottle. This thing right here will do it. So if, if you're looking for a, uh, like an airbrush to supplement your t-shirt airbrushes and so you get detailed on your shirts, this thing will spray Createx straight out of the bottle, no problem. This thing will kind of as well, um, but like I said, you, you just it doesn't atomize paint as well. So on t-shirts, you won't really be able to tell, but like on canvases and stuff like that, you can uh, maybe see some of those specs when it comes to getting in some of the finer shading and stuff. But again, for beginners, this comes with a hose, this comes with a box, this comes with a hang, like so you can hang it and tools and everything you need. These are a little bit more expensive, but out of all of them, this is probably the best one. So if you have the money to blow to get this Velocity airbrush, I would say it's completely worth it. Um, get yourself a hose, or if you already have a different Badger, you know, then this is probably the perfect upgrade for you. The, the, I mean, it was for me. It works amazing, this right here. This, more of this. Uh, but yeah. That's my opinions uh, so far. Um, I'll let you guys know if anything changes, but so far, I mean, this thing, I've already used it for quite a few stuff and it's held up. So thank you guys as always for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that like if you liked the video. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.